Um, so there was another important media event today besides Jason Carr, the number one CHR morning show for the last 20 some years had a change. Mojo, the Mojo show has let Spike go. And Spike goes way back with us because Spike was at 1051 with Sarah mm-hmm. when we were at WRIF and Sarah, hey, what happened to Sarah? Sarah, uh, she went off to 97.1, and then that was it. I don't know what happened to her. Sarah was working with Stony, wasn't she, one time? Yeah, yeah. What Sarah, happened? Sarah was a. They had a. They had guests fill in to to uh, audition to the news, and she won the contest, and she was pretty good, and I think everything was okay, and then she kind of faded to black. I don't know. That's weird. But anyway, Spike. She's, she's got an Instagram. Uh, not too many people are following it, and it, I don't think she's working at all. Hmm. Um, I'm not in radio anyway. Yeah. But but Spike There's had her. been with Mojo for 23 years, so obviously this is a big deal in terms of local radio. And 20 years. I'm assuming because you have to read between the lines. Oh. I'm, Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh. you do. Do you? Because uh, yeah, it's uh, really easy. Radio stations lie in press releases. Some, no. Some, sometimes. Come on now. That's mean. Right now, <laughs> it's this is this is the advantage that um, that 95.5 has. They can say, oh, you know how it is with radio. I mean, oh, it just cuts and cuts and cuts. And you just leave it at that and people go, oh, yeah, radio's been having it tough. It's been a tough stretch of road for radio. So they obviously... They can get along with Mojo and Shannon, and they have to cut that salary. Oh, that's too bad. But here's the thing. I'm not trying to be a troublemaker, but why is there no final show for Spike or a final week? No. I, mean, that I don't know. makes me think that they don't trust him, or there's what? just not, that's maybe there's some bad vibes there, or something, something went askew. But, you know, things go askew. When you work together for that long... I mean, this happens for whatever reason there is. And I, I read Spike's statement, and I oh, inspected I didn't it. Oh, I see that. I inspected it for complete bullshit. <laughs> and uh, here's what I came up with. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm being okay. paid severance, so this is what I'm going to say. Let's see. Oh, I thought I wrote it down. Yeah, I know I did. Let's see. Where is Spike's statement? It was on Facebook. It's right here at the bottom of this paper. If you oh, okay. Yep. Spike (laughs) confirmed the news in a Facebook post. He wrote, I am no longer on the Mojo in the Morning Show. For more than 23 years, it has been a dream come true to entertain you. Okay, I'm I'm in. You're on board. I never took it for granted. Hold on. (laughs) Hold on. I never took it for granted. I don't believe that because... Everybody, anybody who works that long on a show that's doing well and the Mojo show's done really well, there's always times when you take it for granted because <laughs> you're really not at risk. You don't have to worry. You know, the money's pouring in, the ratings are pouring in, everything's great. And I mean, maybe you think you're as big a star as Mojo, or maybe you think you're a bigger star than Mojo, or maybe you think you're equals. And, you know, Everybody's nice to you. Everyone loves you. People recognize you everywhere you go. Um, so to say, I never took it for granted. Ah, that's a weird thing to say. I, I, that's something I would not think you would normally say in a goodbye thing. I don't believe you. Because it's, it's hardly believable, is it? I, I never I took it for granted. I was meant to be subject to such I was scrutiny. Just saying, most people would most, <laughs> most people would just accept it on face, face right. value and not go, you're full of shit. No, I, I do. I think most people will take this on face value, but yeah. I never took it for granted. That's a strange, if you only have a few sentences, I don't know that I'd say that because I, I, I know I took it for granted at times. I know I did. I know I've taken Jeez. every job for granted at times. I haven't. I, I mean, not me. Maybe he never took it for granted. Maybe every day he went in and went, I love this job so much. I'm going to prep so hard for this show today. I'm not taking anything for granted. I'm giving 110% all the time. <laughs> but I doubt it. Yeah. What's no, his real know. name, by the way? And I only ask because every one of the headlines Spike. just calls him Spike. Like it's he's Spike. like Madonna. Yeah, or... it's just Spike. Okay. 
Yeah. Well, I mean, in this day and age, I understand because... I mean, it, just like Mojo is just Mojo. He may have gone to court and removed his last name. <laughs> um, <laughs> I never took it for granted, which much... Okay, with much love, I say thank you for your support. Radio is in my blood, so to say I'm going to miss it would be a massive understatement. Okay, I agree with that. What about the, with much love, what do you think about that? <laughs> I'm just with much love. I say thank you for support. We're talking to the audience, so I, I believe that. Yeah. Okay. Radio is in my blood, so to say. I'm going to miss it would be a massive understatement. Although I can't answer questions regarding this change. Hmm. Because I'm being paid severance. You can all. Yeah. Thank you. Well, that's that's always that means what it that is. this there's been a, a financial an, yeah. a, similar to an NDA. They have uh, they've done their job. They've lived up to their end of it, which is to pay him the rest of what he's owed, or his severance. I do, yeah, my due diligence. There's only one person I know who didn't adhere to that. <laughs> Tom Asaway. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and it didn't, didn't bite him in the ass. Good, but it didn't. Yeah, he had, he's unapologetic. No, no. no right. Yeah. Okay, this last line oh, Tom. Is, is, is meaningful. I'm not really picking on Spike here either. Although I can't answer questions regarding this change... You can always stay in touch with me here, and if you see me, please say hi. Which I think that means, if you want to tell me how much you miss me, how the show isn't the same, how everything <laughs> sucks since I left, here I am! <laughs> how many comments do you think that post got? I'm going to say 3,000. Oh, okay. 1.2. 1.2? Can, can you read some? Yeah, here you go. Ready? It's a sad morning for all the people you've touched with your humor, intellect, sardonic commentary, <laughs> and just... You, you will be sorely missed in our household. My girls were absolutely stunned when I told them. But a listener since day one, and I still listen to the show every day. Sad. Whole family. Family. Yeah, after moving four years ago, we love you. Well, the whole I mean, family's listening. Oh my God, that whole family's touched. Basically, this. Jeez, why don't you go cry about she it? Basically, hey. says, yeah, we're sorry. Go. We're still gonna listen every morning though, without you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I hate it's that really, part. Really, really sad. <laughs> you want no, to you, divorce the entire show? I'm not. When you're booted from fight. a show, no, you absolutely want people to say the show cannot go on without not you. you. Yeah. This is horrible. It's a total disaster. Oh, my God. <laughs> we all prayed this was a late April Fool's prank, but oh. alas, not. Thank you for many years of entertainment with my family. Uh, you're our favorite part of the show. Please stay in touch with all our listeners who are 100% vested in your your family and your future endeavors. Uh, they, your, for, your, they forget fast. They do. People forget in a hurry. <laughs> they 100% invested. <laughs> you're gone, you're gone. Oh, jeez. I remember for a while. I mean, and, and then there's a nostalgic effect over time. But I mean, in a couple months. I have been a loyal listener for 10 plus years. I'm not sure I can keep listening. <laughs> Such a loss for the radio community you've created. Such a terrible decision. I quit. That person's made it about themselves. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'll look for some other. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure some people will say things like that. Yeah, see if you can find I'm a few sure funny ones. Are bummed, but um, yeah, no, he's been on there 23 years. It's worked. I, I just, it's done well. So yeah, I'm, it's it's a bummer for everybody. I'm too cynical though to believe people are going to change their listening habits and stop listening to that show. They can also listen to me. Just saying. Hey. <laughs> oh, I'm well, in the next no, room down. But you're not up against them. No, I know. So they can flip over as soon as they're done. I will punch your asshole if you don't listen to Trudy. Don't be a little bitch. Listen to WLLZ with Trudy. 10 to 3, mother... 106.7. Here's a great comment. Wheels. There's life on the other side. Thumbs up emoji. Godspeed. Jason Carr. Wait. No, oh. no way. No. Right no. There, right there oh, my God. No. Oh, he's going to be on that show. He's going to be on that show. <laughs> That's Godspeed. That's my favorite part of it. Yeah, that would be that would be smart for Jason to get him on. He should get him on. Oh yeah. What is going on? Jason Cook. All right, Spike. Paul Gross. And yeah, if Spike is uh yeah, Spike is a good sport about it. Um by the way, where does Spike go? There's really not another CHR, is there? No, he did alternative before. I you OMC. Know. OMC from ninety five five? Oh, he plays all kinds of music. Yeah, yeah he, he could do that. In a variety. If they wanted him. I guess, I mean, I'm sure he can go anywhere. He's been, he's known yeah. to a lot of people for a lot of years. I just, um, what is OMC playing, for Christ's sake? Oh. I guess, do they play rap? 80, no, no, it's like 80s hits and, yeah, it's really, it's. It's, it is I shocking, kinda, actually, I sometimes. I like it more than I ever have, so I don't know what that <laughs> is. You never know. Classic hits. Sort of a wild card. I'm getting old up. and they're getting younger, so we're meeting in the middle. Me and OMC. Good okay. Relationship, good relationship. Very healthy. You got to stop meeting them in the middle. Well, I, I am, command I'm, you. I have to admit, I'm very curious why there is not a final goodbye That's show. Yeah, that kind of sucks. That's, How is he going to say goodbye to his listeners other than this yeah. Facebook post? 
He's he's gonna go on Jason Carr or something. I I don't know. Somebody will do a story about it. And he'll 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 get oh, the word it's out. Everywhere, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's uh, the Free Press had it, and so did the news. Uh, by the way, can you check the Free Press? See how close sure. it is to the top. Yeah. Because I always thought that was cool. <laughs> now I always look to see it's if so stories crazy. how close they are to the top. See how popular they are. I kind of want to see the comment. Oh, it's the top story. I mean, oh, it is a top like, story. Okay, that's right good. Up. Okay, so that's gonna make him happy. Blue, He's gonna blue, feel blue good. Eyes. That's a good picture. Trudy. What? <laughs> That's where he went. Right. He's a beautiful man. Uh, I'm on. Uh, I'm on Team Mojo. I admit. I like Mojo. We've been friends. Spike. Yeah. He can really. Uh, I, I'm not going to say I was upset, but when uh, Mike Clark died and I called into Mojo, I remember this. Yeah. Oh. I have no idea why Spike felt the need to say this, and I think it was a dig. Oh yeah. Uh, was that he remembered. When uh, Mike Clark was smoking in our studio, and he went in to complain about it because it was, of course, his studio was so full of smoke that he could barely see. <laughs> his studio's on the other side of the building. But anyway, and maybe it was smoky. I don't know. Did you know that Spike was usually the ringleader of the weekday fun? According oh. to this article, at Fox, where would they fire the ringleader of the weekday fun? I don't know. It's like Jason Carr was the glue at Fox 2. <laughs> The glue. They fired him. And the he said he leader. was known as the glue, the mayor, and something else. Was the third thing, Brandon? <laughs> oh, I can't recall. You remembered them all last time. Um, anyway, he said that uh, he went, came in the studio to complain. I don't remember this. I do not remember this. I don't remember But it maybe it happened. And Mike Clark said, when you're number one, you can complain about the smoke. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> and my first no, problem so. with that was that Mike Clark just died. Is that really a flattering thing to say about Mike Clark not. the day he died? Of course no. not. And the se my second problem with it is I don't remember it, and I don't, that doesn't seem like something Mike would say. Not he might really. say it when he one, left the it, room. It is 100% nuts. Mike is not confrontational. He never no, would have no, said no. that. No, no. Would he, he have said it under his breath to us for the person yeah. in the room? No. Totally. That's what I said. When he left the room, I could see him. Yeah. Saying that and laughing, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> would never. But not to his face. face. I never. can't. I can't believe that. I mean, if he did, that was so off-brand for Mike. But I, I still maintain that I thought that was a really dumb thing to say when I was calling in to honor Mike. Mojo was yeah. nice enough to call, yeah. and I thought it was a shitty thing to say. And then you want to know something? Mojo, bitch. Here's something else that was shit. Here's the first comment under the free press story. All of the radio show personalities who use aliases on air, nobody knows your name, which means good luck finding another job. <laughs> Going into radio is a career has the same longevity as selling typewriters. Oh, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> someone, they took my job. <laughs> someone has to be an asshole. They just, they can't yeah. help it. Even a tepid story like this, Spike loses his job. How can you not sympathize to some degree? But somebody has to be yes, a dick. it sucks. It sucks that he lost his job. And like, here's Here's another one. Radio is a dying medium. Start your oh, podcast now. And then the guy replies, not true. With some link that no one is going to click on. And then the first guy responds with, LOL, my house is four, house, four smart speakers, and we've never listened once to a radio station on it. Oh, he's boasting about his smart speakers. What? Mm. We're having this argument on what? story about I have more than that, by the way. It's incredible how much people argue in comments. It's absolutely oh, it's astounding. It's always the same people, too. What, uh, I would love to know what the link is. That the guy sent us, sent the other guy to who oh, says radio's look, I'll dying. I'll look at it, but then I saw this one. Never heard of him. Next, we followed up with, I think he's bumping someone. <laughs> <laughs> there they are. <laughs> Good job. Good job, Aaron. <laughs> Oh, and Patrick, cool. oh, Patrick and Aaron, we know you listen. We also Never heard of them next. We also had some, there were some incidents with Spike when we yeah. were at Riff and he was Whatever. in the other studio, 1051, because. We got guests first, and he didn't like that, and he felt that there were some guests that they had earned first. I don't know why. And then but Mike Clark said, when you're number one, you can have the guests No, that might be like accurate. He would, he would never say that to his face. No, he would never say that to his face. He, no. his face. he no. would not. He would say but, it under his breath to us. <laughs> but I know that when we first came to town, we had a very hard time getting guests, and especially getting guests first. And yeah, to think that... Works. He was trying to finagle something in our building where he would get somebody. It was a stupid guest, too. It was like Burt Ward or somebody. Like, no. Uh, was, oh, are you sure that was fight. Spike? That's a different fight. That was, yeah. Burt Ward? Burt Ward is absolutely. Oh, is that with right. CSX? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so was Granderson. I think Granderson was. <laughs> oh, maybe I conflated this.
Yeah. I thought yeah. There, I thought you guys were hiding in the bushes to get somebody. Mm-hmm. <laughs> was that Burt Ward? That was CSX, though. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, Spike. I don't know if we were hiding in the bushes. <laughs> <laughs> I had to make sure that you got him first and grabbed him, brought him to the studio. <laughs> That's pretty classic. Somebody told me he was going to fight you guys over that. So. Oh, wow. Oh, let's yeah. do it.